Hello, welcome to LFC Focus. So Liverpool have just drawn yet again against Manchester United, 0-0 at Anfield, almost exactly the same as it happened last year. And I think, again, we are all very, very disappointed with that result because Liverpool absolutely dominated that game. We were by far and away the better team and we simply just did not make our domination count. And it was slightly different from what it was last season where I think Mourinho kind of went for it a little bit more. I mean, he certainly didn't park the bus like he did last year. Last year, they were playing six at the back. They had both of their wingers playing as auxiliary fullbacks. All the midfielders were basically helping out the defence as well. And then it was just Ibrahimovic running around by himself in the Liverpool half. And I think they came out a little bit more for this game today, but still the main game plan for Man United was to try and play for a draw and maybe nick a win if they got the chance. And Liverpool just simply, again, did not make their domination count in that game. Whereas against Man United last season, they weren't able to make the chances because of just how much United packed the box. Liverpool still had their opportunities today. They still had moments where they could quite easily have created clear-cut chances. They did create a few clear-cut chances at some point. You had the chance for Joel Matip where De Gea again makes a fantastic save. I'm getting a little bit bored of it now. Every single year where we play Man United, David De Gea turns into a combination of all the best goalkeepers in the world and just plays an absolute blinder. He did it again today. It was a great save with his feet. Then Mo Salah doesn't tuck in the the, uh, the follow-up. You've also got an Emre Can chance that he really should have buried as well. So Liverpool did have their chances in this game and that's what makes it so frustrating because as it has been so often uh, throughout September with all the draws that Liverpool got, we should have won the game, we should have put our chances away and we just didn't. However, that being said, it was all round, I think a very, very good performance from that Liverpool side. I mean, Simon Mignolet starting off with the goalkeeper, of course, didn't have that much to do, but he had one moment where Romelu Lukaku was kind of through on goal. He had a very good chance, the kind of chance we've seen Lukaku put away a lot so far this season and I think we did all have our hearts in our mouths at that point right before half time as well would have been such a jammy time for Man United to score Lukaku didn't really catch the shot very well to be fair but it was still there for Simon Mignolet to save he made the save he pushed it away very well Moreno then makes the block but a very good performance from Simon Mignolet did what was asked of him very well and never made him look made things look nervous or edgy so a good performance from the goalkeeper the defense as well was absolutely fantastic in that game I thought I just mentioned Alberto Moreno and the block he made after the Mignolet save Moreno in general was fantastic he really, really got stuck in with his tackles. He really got in the Man United players' faces and he handled everything that was thrown at him very well. I mean, I think it was... I think it was Ashley Young that went down that side and Young just did not get a look in for pretty much the entire game uh, today. Then you got the centre-backs. Joel Matip didn't have that much asked, to him, but asked of him, but like Mignolet, did it all very well. He distributed quite well from the back as well. He looked comfortable on the ball. He was passing around, so that was all brilliant to see. Dejan Lovren, for me, was one of the standout players for Liverpool. He was fan fantastic today. I mean, he was the one who was tasked with dealing with Romelu Lukaku during that game and he was absolutely fine all the way through. You know, he was all over Romelu Lukaku, did not give the Manchester United striker a sniff, cleared the ball well, headed the ball well and all round a very impressive performance from a player who has come under a lot of criticism, I think it's safe to say so far this season. And then Joe Gomez was Sky Sports Man of the Match. A little bit iffy on that one. I think he did have a very good game and he handled Anthony Martial reasonably well. I mean, I wouldn't say that he had Anthony Martial in his pocket. There were still moments where Martial looked like he might threaten us a little bit, but Joe Gomez handled everything pretty well. Wasn't caught out of position too many times. Just a little bit disappointed with him going forward. I think maybe we would have liked a little bit more from him to maybe help out Mo Salah on that right-hand side. But all things considered, a really good performance in the defence. Very well done from them, especially considering that it's the defence that has led to us drawing quite a few games already so far this season. And then the midfield for me performed very, very well as well. I mean, they've come under a bit of criticism for not being very flashy during that game. You know, it's creatively and going forward, the midfield didn't do enough for me. And that was a criticism that I had towards the start of the season. And it was the same midfield three. It was Henderson, Emre Jan, and Gini Van Alden. They are far too workmanlike for some games. They don't have that creative spark. But I think going into the game against Manchester United, I was fine with those three starting in midfield because we needed that kind of attitude to the way we handled our game in the middle of the park. We needed to bring strength, we needed to bring aggression, and we needed to try and control the game and keep things composed. And that is exactly what those players did. And like I said, while they weren't flashy, they weren't sparky, they weren't, you know, playing beautiful, creative crossfield passes or anything, they did what they needed to do very well. And that's one of the reasons that Liverpool dominated the game was those three players handling the game brilliantly in midfield. I mean, Jordan Henderson 
marshalled the midfield very well and I think he protected the back four brilliantly. He stopped them getting too exposed. Emre Jan charged forward brilliantly at times. Maybe didn't do quite as much as I would have liked for him. I would have liked a little bit more of a box-to-box -box performance from Emre Jan, so not quite as good as maybe he could have been. And Genie Wijnaldum, for me, was very good. I mean, he was tasked with being the one who got forward a little bit more. Without Coutinho or Lallana playing that role in midfield, it fell on the shoulders of Jorginho Wijnaldum. And all things considered, I think he did pretty well. I think he handled that responsibility very well during that game. And while he didn't create many clear-cut chances or anything, he still did a reasonable job. And then the front three, for me, in that game was the only real part of the pitch where we really let ourselves down. I mean, they still performed okay and showed flashes of brilliance. Mo Salah obviously had a very good first half and Phil Coutinho was always looking like he might have the opportunity to just break four Man United players ankles, charge through their entire defence and go through on goal and he did try and do it a couple of times and it worked with varying degrees of success but things just didn't quite click up front in that game and I mean Bobby Firmino as well showed a lot of energy, played very well but was just dropping deep a little bit too much to try and win the ball so while it was a good performance from that front three and I would say that all of them got at least maybe a 7 out of 10 for their performances, it just didn't quite click for us and that is one of the reasons that Liverpool didn't win the game. And I mean let's be honest, Man U were pretty rubbish in that game. I mean I said how we controlled the midfield and that's one of the reasons that Liverpool absolutely dominated that game and I think Man U's midfield was pretty pretty woeful. I mean to be fair they are missing Paul Pogba, they are missing Marouane Fellaini. Those are the two players that really helped them marshal games from the centre of the park. They didn't have those players today and it really showed. I mean, Ander Herrera, Man United fans beforehand were saying, oh, it's his time to stand up and be counted. He's going to stamp his authority on the game. He just didn't. He just didn't. He was very poor, didn't really control the game. Nemanja Matic as well was okay, I guess. I mean, he helped screen the defence reasonably well, and I suppose that's one of the reasons that Liverpool's attack didn't really gel in that game, but they never really got going, and the midfield never really gave the attack any sort of help whatsoever. And then Lukaku, obviously, was pants. Absolutely pants. I mean, that's what happens when you sign an Everton player, to be honest. It was exactly the same with Wayne Rooney when Man U bought him from Everton. Perfectly good player. I think Romelu Lukaku is a decent striker, but when they come to Anfield, they cannot take the pressure, and that's what happens when you play for Everton, sadly. Romelu Lukaku was awful today, didn't get on the ball enough, wasn't very mobile. Dejan Lovren had him absolutely in his pocket, let's be honest. He, he had him all under wraps for the entire game, and when Romelu Lukaku did get one chance, he fluffed his lines and played it pretty much straight at Simon Mignolet. So, Man U were dreadful in that game, and uh, Jose Mourinho certainly wasn't doing them any favours by telling them to go for a nil-nil, I think. So, it kind of killed the contest in the end. It didn't really feel like a, a really fiery matchup between the two teams, because it was simply Man United not playing very well, sitting back to accommodate for it, Liverpool trying to break them down, and their attack not really gelling, sadly. The penalty shout as well. Ander Herrera, as I mentioned earlier, didn't have a great game. He did also stamp on Felipe Coutinho. I mean, there's there's a bit of debate over whether or not it's in the box for anything or anything like that. Personally, for me, I think it is a penalty. But Martin Atkinson had a horrible game today. He was pretty useless. Lukaku should have at least got a yellow card when he completely cleared out Joe Gomez as well. But Martin Atkinson thought, actually, no, I'll give him a talking to. So Martin Atkinson didn't handle the game very well, to be honest. Obviously, it didn't boil over at any point. There weren't any handbags or anything, which given past meetings between Liverpool and Man United, I guess you could say that's a positive for Martin Atkinson. But all things considered, he was just rubbish. Just rubbish. Lukaku should have had a yellow card. Liverpool maybe should have had a penalty. But to be honest, given our performance and the way we just weren't doing well enough going forward, I don't really think we deserve to win that game, sadly. So all things considered, while, like I said, we didn't necessarily deserve to win that game, I still think it was a good positive performance from Liverpool and as a result I am feeling good going forward into the next few games. I'm hoping that this is maybe a sign that we have improved since the international break and Jurgen Klopp has done a little bit of work on the problems that we've had uh, over over September and all the issues with drawing games and not finishing our chances and everything. Obviously like I said the attack didn't quite gel in that game so there's no indication that we've completely got over those problems but maybe just hopefully we're getting there and I think Maribor the next game on Tuesday night is going to be a huge indication of that because that is simply a game we have to win you know we can get away with drawing against Man United as much as we want to win and as much as we should have won that game we can get away with just a point from that match but if Liverpool can't beat Maribor then I think we should start getting very very worried not just for the season ahead but also just the Champions League campaign so a bit worried about that but hopefully after a good performance against Man United we can kick on and win that game so that is all for today's video thank you guys very very much for watching I'm sorry that I was gone for so long while I was setting in at uni and everything as you can tell 
tell it's a very different setup. Not quite as nice as the one I had at home, but oh well, you know, you've got to go with what you've got. And yeah, sorry about being gone for three weeks, just, you know, setting everything up. Had fresh as flu, so my voice completely went. So, you know, in a medium where I'm basically just talking to the camera, it's quite difficult when I can't actually talk. So, sorry about that, but I'm back now. Hopefully the videos will be back to being as regular as they possibly can. So, fingers crossed for that. But thank you very, guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new around here, I guess. Shall I put the button there now? Check out some of the other videos that have been out on the channel over the past few days. They'll be over there. Don't forget to follow at LSE Focus TV on Twitter as well. And I'll see you tomorrow for the build-up for the game against Maribor. Bye for now.